Welcome to Strip Cover Lit, where we squeeze the bigger picture out of literature. I am Adrian Fort, and we are here for another poetry discussion. There's always poetry on Mondays. So if you are a poetry lover, remember that I have poetry discussions every Monday here on the channel. Also, there is a link to my personal channel to be found in the description below, where I talk about philosophy and stuff like that. And there's a little bit of philosophy in this video uh, discussion to be had there. Also, also, also... Literature is the only thing I talk about on this channel, so if you are a literature lover, poetry, short stories, novel read-alongs, consider hitting the subscribe button in order to stick around for more, and if you hit that like button, it really helps me out here on the channel because it tells YouTube to share this video with other literature lovers. Now, we have here a poem from William Wordsworth, My Heart Leaps Up, and it reads as such. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So was it when my life began, so is it now I am a man. So be it when I shall grow old, or let me die. The child is father of the man, and I could wish my days to be bound each to each by natural piety. It's a simple little poem. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So was it when my life began, so is it now I am a man. So be it when I shall grow old, or let me die. The child is the father of the man. And I could wish my days to be bound, each to each, by natural piety. What are we saying here? I hope I never lose the sort of wonder and wonderment that that strikes you just by the simplest things a rainbow in the sky it happens when it rains we don't have anything to do with it no control over it it just happens that strikes me with awe but the real sort of wisdom in this poem is not just that you should be struck with awe that your heart should leap up at things like a rainbow in the sky here is the real wisdom in this poem. The child is father of the man. What does that mean? Kind of a cryptic little saying. Einstein said that the greatest minds are entertained by the simplest things. Now, it, that, that is not a direct quote, but essentially it is. That the greatest minds in the world, he was absolutely sure, were occupied by the simplest things. Einstein himself, the E equals MC squared, uh, was what allowed us to crack the atom and then blow things up with an atom bomb. But atoms are as simple as it gets, the smallest it gets. Um, but what does this mean in, per in pertinence to that? The child is father of the man. Children take awe in simple things. So long as we are willing to always take awe in the simple things, the child in us survives. That child is what directs us in adulthood. We have a phrase here from Carl Jung. The fool is the precursor to the savior. You may have heard this from Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, very fond of this line. What does this mean? The fool. What is the fool? The idiot, the joker, the jester. That is the precursor to the savior. What is the savior? Oh, only the most pious among us. Only those that will shepherd their brothers and sisters. The savior, not necessarily a religious idea, but certainly an idea that is expressed in religions, the Savior is the result of the fool. Only through having a simple enough viewpoint on things can we ever get to the point where the more important things make sense with clarity. There is another phrase, don't remember where I heard this, Stupidity loves complexity. The dumber someone is, the more complex they want to make a solution. Um, this is, again, something that Einstein had expressed when he said that um, 
physics was beautiful in its simplicity, that if these are the rules by which the very universe operates, they're probably simple. And the more complex we make them means we're probably going in too, we're going in the wrong direction if we try to make them to be uh, complex things. Because why would the universe want complex rules by which to operate? Why would the natural world want complex rules by which to operate? So the fool is the precursor to the savior. The fool is the person who is willing to concede that they don't know things. Not the person who is pretty sure they know everything. The person who is pretty sure they know everything oftentimes is someone who is making up way too complex of answers. Uh, read an academic paper. These are people who have convinced themselves for years that they're not fools. So they make up really complex answers. I'm reading a book now on hauntology. Um, the phrase from Derrida, hauntology. And it is just pedantic and self-important and really, really, oh, if you don't understand it, you're the idiot here because I'm, I'm using all the right words and all the right words in all the right places. I must be intelligent. But if we're going to break down this poem and the fool is the precursor to the savior phrase any further, it might be made up in this. Extreme upside comes from extreme humility in accepting failure and learning from it. The fool is not afraid to fail. The fool is pretty sure that failure is a part of the process and it is always a part of the process. That is actually... That is actually sort of what engineering is. So you, you think engineers, the brightest among us, become engineers. All that means is the rapid nature with which someone is willing to fail means they will get to better outcomes faster. Now, obviously, you want to start that end point as close to the correct answer as possible. But even if you don't, as long as you have a fool's mind that is able to accept failure as inevitable, you will quickly move past the failures themselves and eventually end on the right answer. So we have here in this poem, My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So was it when I my life began, so is it now, I am a man. So be it when I shall grow old, or let me die. The child is the father of the man, and I could wish my days to be bound, to e bound each to each by natural piety. Here we have not seeking for an answer, answer not the um, ever-loving, ever-growing, desire to be correct and more correct and get things right and engineer. Here we have in this poem simply someone willing, wanting to constantly be in awe of nature. That, I mean, just think of the, the humility there, the humility necessary to say, hey, um, this simple thing such as a rainbow, it's pretty cool, man. Each time you see one, it's pretty cool how that works. Pretty cool how that happens. Um, yeah. Prophetic words here from William Wordsworth. That is all I have for this poetry discussion. There is poetry every Monday on this channel, as well as novel read-alongs, short story discussions. I am getting into more and more reviews. I will be getting back to that. I'm going to be making something that I call Black Label Series, uh, which are really going to include a little bit more editing than I am normally um, willing to do, that I am a capable of doing. Uh, but that is something that I am looking to get into more and more on the channel. There is also a link to my personal channel to be found in the description below. If you like this sort of thing, over there is where I talk more about this. I talk about movies. I talk about all sorts of internet regular stuff. And um, like I say, there is poetry every Monday on the channel. And I hope to have you back for the next one.